Lollipop Land is open 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Wednesdays to Sundays, right up until January the 19th. And the only day that we close during that period is Christmas Day. We're located at 126 Archer Street, Woodford, and we're directly opposite the brand new Tourist Information Centre, which is very exciting. We're here right up until January the 19th, which means that we'll be open during the Woodford Boat Festival as well. Welcome everybody, welcome to Lollipop Land. For those of you who I didn't get to talk to properly, you've arrived at what we call is the sugar rush hour. That's when you all arrive at the same time. And it's really hard for us to say hello properly when that happens. So welcome, my name is Jewel, and I do all of the visual merchandising that you've seen here. So the planning, the displays, all of the, the ideas, the crazy ideas behind all of this place is my responsibility. Now none of this would happen unless we had another special person in this room and she's probably hiding somewhere. But there she is, there's Chris everybody, wave to Chris. Chris is our original doll artist. So Chris hand sculpts each and every doll out of polymer clay. She starts with a block of clay, it looks like a brick, it feels like a brick and she has to knead it and sculpt it. So every hand, face and foot that you see in here on our dolls has, horsey, has been sculpted by Chris. She also makes all of the bodies and all of the clothes and it's 12 months work for Chris to make all of the dolls that you see in here. Um, we would like to, just for the people that didn't get to, to hear the story when you arrived before, Lollipop Land is a suburb of the North Pole. It's where the fairies and the elves make all of the cakes and the ice creams and the sweets for the whole wide world. Please don't confuse it with Santa's workshop because that's where they make toys and they're a bit busy at the moment for very obvious reasons. Does anyone know why the elves are busy? Why are they busy? Because it's nearly Christmas. It's nearly Christmas, exactly. So what you'll see in here is a whole range of doll, uh, dolls and, and props and things. Now many things we make ourselves and many things we and other things that we buy in and, and we have friends, beautiful friends that help us do things too. So if you're, while you're all standing there, if you were to look up behind Andrew, you'll see that there is a marshmallow castle. Now if you look at those columns, you'll see that they're pink and white twist columns. That's marshmallow columns. Our turrets are covered in peppermints our walls are built out of coconut ice and can anybody guess what the door is made out of? What would it be? Mustics? Somebody got it right! Yay! They're my favourite lollies. I had to have mustics in here somewhere. So each area you'll find is a different area in Lollipop Land. We have the Marshmallow Castle, the Lollipop Garden, the Gingerbread Cottage and we also have or the Witch's Forest, we also have the Chocolate Mine. Now when you walked in, you may or may not have noticed, but there's a big dragon on top of the Chocolate Mine. He's our Chocolate Guardian. He's there to make sure that none of our chocolate disappears. What happens in the, in the Chocolate Mine is when the elves dig underneath the snow and the ice, they actually find the big chocolate blocks. And so when you're walking around, you might be able to get Mum and Dad to help you. We've got little story cards in each section, and what you can do is actually read the stories and on there you'll find a list of questions and things to ask the children things to help to get them to help you to find so in the chocolate mine for instance there's a character called roly-poly and he actually scoops the top of the snow and gets a lovely chocolate sponge layer and turns that into chocolate Swiss rolls so you'll see there's lots of little different stories on each of those story cards now has anybody noticed what I'm sitting on what am I sitting on? A unicorn. A unicorn. When this, this unicorn, his name's Raffaello by the way, everybody who's in here has a special name that's sort of food related. Sweet, of course. So when you look in the books that are on the tables, you'll see everybody's names. But when Raffaello came to visit us, he was a thoroughbred racehorse. Believe it or not, believe it or not, he actually had a lollipop transformation and magically transformed into a unicorn. And now he's a special ch seat in our enchanted forest. And this seat is where you can sit and have your photographs taken. So you can do the whole family Christmas photographs here. You can take as many photographs as you like all throughout lollipop land if you like. The children are allowed to hold all of these things, all of the props on the unicorn for the photographs. Please don't try to eat them because they don't <laughs> Tastes very good. If we had real ice creams up here, what would happen to them? Would they melt and then they'd be all sticky? So that's why we have to have pretend ones up here. 
Okay, so all of the animals that you see in Lollipop Land actually come to us from a company called NatureWorks and they're all made out of fibreglass. They come out of a mould but then they have to be hand painted just in case you were wondering and we also have David's information if you're interested. Now there, has anyone seen the big penguin here? Can anyone see a big penguin anywhere? Did you see the big penguin? That's actually a king penguin. That's a life-size penguin. So if you were to go to the North Pole and meet a penguin, that's how big they really are. Now, does anybody, do you think it's a boy or a girl penguin? A girl. Why do you think it's a girl? Why? That's right. Only in lollipop land. That's how you tell the difference between boy and girl penguins. The girls wear diamante necklaces. Okay. <laughs> So well, we, we would like you to take your time, enjoy lollipop land, be mindful that there's always going to be somebody here wanting to get their photos taken so we can take it in turns. If the children, if you're on here, remember to make a wish while you're sitting on the unicorn, okay? And um, we would, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for coming and also wish you a Merry Christmas. Take your time and we can take some photos for your, for your family too. If you like the whole family all together, we can help sort that out for you. So enjoy.